You know, I put this series in such a high regard because I don't know. Uh, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh, especially, mostly like the OG Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, with Yu-Gi and friends and all that shit. It felt like a show for niggas, bro. You feel me? Egyptian setting, a Tim, that nigga was... Hey, you can't lie, that nigga was black, bro. Hey, 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 I don't want to hear... Hey, I want to hear any racist side niggas talk about, oh, oh, Egyptian isn't black, oh, it was a mix. That's true. That's true that Egypt was mixed, you feel me? No denying that, you feel me? But like it, it were it, no, like I feel like like the niggas started it. Like it's not too far fetched. Matter of fact, it's more far fetched than like the original. Like the original Egyptians were were like Middle Eastern versus you know actual like you know black people. You feel me? Like that's it. I'm just saying, bro. Like what? Like what would a Middle Eastern be doing just out in the in, out in the seas with like a what? Like a boat, nigga. The niggas can barely make fucking like wood or they didn't even know the concept of wood back then, bro. Like what? What would they? What would they be doing out in the open seas? Just stumbling across Africa, you feel me? And say, oh, you know what? I'm going to make a big guy pyramid on that bit, you feel me? <laughs> and we lit type shit. Like, come on now. Come on, bro. Come on. I, I got to see some. Hold on. I got Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. Uh, in the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, Yu-Gi and Atem are two different people. Even though they share a body, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a high school student while Atem is an Asian Egyptian pharaoh. Okay, so we know that. But right here it says in the Yu-Gi-Oh series, Atem is a pale skin for the most of the modern day series, but dark skinned while traveling back in time in ancient Egypt. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, hey, man, come on now. Kazuki Takashi, the goat. Hey, R.I.P. Rest in peace. Good soul. Good soul, bro. The creator of Atem was inspired by Taka uh, Tutankhamun for his character. In the manga, 3,000 years after Atem defeats the Zork Necrophades, Yugi, Yugi Moto solves the Millennium Puzzle, causing Atem to reside in his body as Dark Yugi. <laughs> hey, why? <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know why I laughed at that. So I'm saying that Yugi is Atem's reincarnation, so we're to how Seto accepts. Baku, Bakura Ryo is the Thief King. Alright, but it's not saying if this nigga black, though. Hold on, bro. I need my confirmation. Let me see. Let me Google this. Well, who who is he? Tutankhamun. Was Tutankhamun black? Is what I typed. Zahi Hawass, the head of Egyptian antiques and TV personality, de declares that Tutankhamun was not black. Okay, bitch ass thing. Oh, who is that? I ain't gonna lie, cause a lot of these archaeologists, especially during that time, you know, during segregation and shit, was racist as hell. Like they were, they were the big R word. I ain't gonna lie. I don't like calling p other people a racist. You feel me? But I could definitely say these niggas skeptical as hell. Let me let me do a quick Google search on Zahi Hawass. Right, let, let's see, let's see. Okay, white man. I can confirm that. Look at this bitch ass nigga, whole ass nigga. What are you smiling for? You got no hoes looking like that. What's wrong with you, jit? Uh, yeah, nigga, not even matching with the his fucking his vest, bro. What's wrong with him? Anyway, let's see who Zahi Abbas Hawass is. Is an Egyptian archaeologist, Egyptologist, a uh, supremacist, and <laughs> former minister of state for antiques affairs, serving twice. He also worked as an archaeological site in Night Delta. Okay, but how does he know that the nigga was black or white? I mean, let's let's analyze that, bro. Oh, oh, what do we have right here? Why was Zahi relieved? Because he's a fucking flop. <laughs> he's a fucking a fucking loser. That's why he was relieved. Okay, there was no doubt about it. All right, man. Muhammad Ibri Ali. Uh, okay, I don't know none of these niggas. But yeah, fuck out of here, jit. Hey man, I'ma say that nigga black. Hold on, let, let's see. Uh, we gotta further analyze. Declares Tatu Kahun was not black, but he has no proof though. It's not like you can go in and dig that nigga's grave up. In response to the criticism, American exhibit did not portray Ramiz as a black African. Okay. What does America have to do with Egypt though? Is that what we're saying? Like, what are you, what are you niggas talking about, right? Anyway, anyway, I'm not even gonna get into that. Found something interesting. Additionally, depictions of King Tut in ancient Egyptian art typically show him with dark brown or black hair and a slightly darker skin tone than some other depictions of pharaohs. Bro, here, here what I'm saying. 
dark brown or dark or black hair. How many, bro? How many uh, like niggas do you know? Of? Like y'all feel me with that description, bro? A slightly darker skin. That nigga was black as hell, boy. That nigga was black as hell, bro. What did King Tut look like? He looks like a young man with delicate with a delicate face, said Brazilian graphics expert. Looking at him, we see more of a young student than a po politician, a politician, full of responsibilities. Okay, they're just chatting. Uh, what was the skin color of the Egyptians? Very. What did Cleopatra look like? That bitch was white as hell, boy. He was a fucking Greek. Going deep in this, I don't give a fuck. Look, look what my, my good king, my, my, a Gasper Roberts, <laughs> a random nigga on Quora has to say. It's odd that most don't look to King Tut's parents to guesstimate what King Tut looked like. It, it is known his father was Ar Akinaden and his mother is assumed to be Nefer Nefertiti. I don't know what that is. And Aka, Aka, I'm, uh, I'm gonna butcher these Egyptian names, I'm not gonna lie. Aka Henton has clear Negro features, as does Nataferi. Just Google images, just Google images of them and take a look at the lips and nose. So safe to conclude, Tut would also have Negroid features, making him what we would call today, uh, nigga, come on, look at me. Hey, look at me, nigga. Look at me, nigga. Look at me. He will look like me. <laughs> like, he me, bro. Like, bro, he me for real, bro. I don't even gotta, like, cap. I don't even gotta, like, uh, pressure this, like, push this any further than I need to push this, bro. Like, bro, that nigga was black, bro. What race was King Tut? What race? Look at, bro, that's a nigga, bro. Fuck out of here. Look at a big ass, know what a big ass lips, bro. And those big ass eyes. I got big ass eyes, bro. Like, come on now. Like, you can't, <laughs> you can't tell, like, come on now, bro. Tutahib is arguably the most famous person of ancient Egypt. He's almost universally known today because of Sir Evan's discovery of his nearly intact pharaonic tomb in 1922 and his famous gold death mask. But who was he? He was the only son of the heretic pharaoh, Hakaheten, before his a religious revolution. Bro, look, that look like a nigga, bro. You can't tell me that don't look like a nigga, bro. Contrary to what many people believe, Queen Neferedi, a great wife, was not his mother. His actual mother is believed by scholars to have been Akaheten's sister. Uh, 19 years old when he died? Damn. It was weak and infirm. He was famous for his golden death mask. Some have changed strong features of kingship and power. But in reality, Tut Akamun was a visible result of royal family's extensive inbreeding. As was later discovered through further studies that his parents were siblings. Ew! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Maybe these niggas were, were from Alabama. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> No, I'm, 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 I'm joking, I'm joking. If you look at his golden mask, you see a display of power and importance, but if you look closely, you will see an image of an innocent young boy. Oh, this nigga was chopped. Oh, but nah, that, that couldn't be him. That couldn't be him, though. But he, I'm saying, bro, because he has so many features of a black person. I know everybody, every, a black, you know, like, not every black person looks the same and some shit. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying we have specific features, you feel me, different from other people. But like, what I will say, I think, I feel like, like, uh, Egypt was mostly black until, you know, the invasion started happening. And until then, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, they were the invaders would have would have had to like you know fuck the fuck the holes and shit. You feel me? So yeah, I feel like it would the more time passed, the more like it became mixed and shit. And niggas and, until until you know the Greeks started taking over and I don't know what the fuck happened to them and shit. I was, some shit like that. That's kind of like the last era. That, like the Greek era was kind of like the last thing. So we can't sit here and say oh yeah for sure all i know the niggas weren't white and you know it's, there's no offense i mean they were white for one dynasty but you know they fit they crashed and burned you feel me greek was was in the mud you feel me that shit was getting burned and all types of shit like greek was falling down so they didn't. so like i mean she like we we can't all i'm gonna say 
it was a mix between black and middle eastern that's kind of where they intertwine black and middle eastern it's a mix between those two and then it just started to get you know mostly middle and you know middle eastern started moving down there in the modern day and shit and that it's kind of you feel that's what it is but uh yeah yeah long story that nigga was black i don't care <laughs> fuck out of here <laughs> long story short yeah Yu-Gi-Oh is for the niggas bro so the fact <laughs> yeah, I was not rid of anyway so the fact that you know that's why i kind of want to see this series go to bigger heights other than the cards i know the animes are doing decent i don't know the cards more than decent you know still selling like wildfire so like i just want this series to be the best it can be and give us something that we can can expire to more bro the egypt setting in an anime fire that shit was hard that's why og Yu-Gi-Oh will always be the best Yu-Gi-Oh to me but so that's why i kind of want to see the series to grow a bit more in terms of you know video games because video games and uh, like video games can like get like view a lot of people underestimate the power of video games like video games can like dig a dig a series in a in the grave if it's like a good enough like i'm not to say like Yu-Gi-Oh is dead or anything but it could like it really hold hell hold the series down especially if the gameplay is good it, it gets good reception everybody wants to play like it gets good advertisement and shit there's a bunch of different like the quality and everything is just like good about the game so like that's why I'm hoping we get a like a good Yu-Gi-Oh game one of these days, bro. But I, anyway, on a serious note, that's all I had to say. Yeah.